look at that. Right here we have a, which it doesn't have black pastel, but it's using mahogany. Oh my gosh, is there six eggs? But look at the difference. This thing is freaking beautiful, man. What's up, YouTube? How's everyone doing today? Hope everyone's having a great day. The reason why I'm laughing is because Dina's doing her shoulder shrugs over there. Um, guys, do we have a crazy, crazy vlog for you today? Um, we're gonna pull out another uh, clutch and show you guys some snakes that we have. But this clutch that we're gonna be pulling out, man, is such a massive, massive powerhouse. Honestly, when I was telling you guys when I was doing the top ten of clutches, I only, you know, talked about a few of them. This one right here will lie in around like the top three, maybe top five. Uh, before we get to show you that clutch, we actually um, just pulled this clutch out too. This right here was a, a Batman, which obviously you know it's a spot nose leopard clown. And she was bred to a DG clown. We had seven eggs, so we're shooting for some uh, Batman head desert goats, which is going to be freaking, freaking sick. What's is she still a Batman though? You said she was a Batman. As I said, it's, she is a Batman. What do you mean? <laughs> Don't do this, oh, don't do this to me, big dog. Don't do this to me, big dog. See, you guys see what I mean to Tina? Jeez, man. Back to where we're going. Uh, okay, so the clutch. Before I get to that, look at these. <laughs> Spot nose, leopard, yellow belly clown, bred to a DG clown. All these girls right here, were bred to a DJ clown besides this one. This spot nose uh, red striped clown was bred to a sunset clown. And then this inchy clown was bred to a DG clown. But this one, man, oh my gosh. So insane, I can't wait to pull this out, man. Look at that. Right here we have a black pastel hypo clown. And you know what we bred to her? We bred the spot nose red striped yellow belly clown. So something cool about this female right here, she actually, you know, she was always a picky picky eater. And you know, she would eat a rat every other three weeks or you know, maybe once a month. She was, she was very small, small, small female. So then afterwards, you know what, I'm just gonna go hard with the with the mice on her, you know what? So she definitely will take four to five mice. We ended up having five females here that um that uh, were just straight mousers, man. And they've been killing it ever since after that. So definitely, I was just telling Tina recently, I don't really have a problem with snakes eating mice. I mean, you'd rather have everything in rats because you're just throwing them in there going really, really quick. But this girl, if we would have never put her on mice, she would have never got up to size to be able to actually, you know, give us a nice clutch from the looks of it. But yeah, so black pastel hypo clown. So we put the spot nose red stripe yellow belly clown. You guys know that I made that stranger Pompeii, which Pompeii is black pastel, spot nose, red stripe, yellow belly clown, right? So I made the stranger version. So there's no black pastel in it. So it was stranger. That's one of my favorite Pompeii's, you know, definitely one of my favorite ones, but not my favorite, favorite one. My favorite, favorite one's actually the mahogany version of it. I bought this from Justin. And this is the one that Justin had a seller's remorse, which I've learned a lot this year what that is because I've sold some <laughs> stuff that I really regret. But right here we have the mahogany Pompeii, which it doesn't have black pastel, but it's using mahogany for the extra gene instead of black pastel. This thing is freaking beautiful, man. I love this thing. I can't wait to see how that stranger Pompeii actually, you know, like turns out a little bit more. But man, he is looking amazing, slamming some meals. So yeah, so that's why I'm really excited about this. So let's pull out this clutch real quick and get all the info. As you guys can see, that incubator is almost filled. You know, we took one out because they were pipping out and we had to cut them up. But I believe we hit a um, Mojave Mandarin GHI. Hypo. Hypo. It is freaking sick, man. Sorry, let me let me get this out real quick. And I hope all these are nice and healthy because this right here is oh my gosh is there six eggs yeah we thought it was five eggs that is even better man holy hell i said ooh just to make it exciting <laughs> I didn't really see. You're, you're kind of doing me a little dirty today, big dog. <laughs> you already know what I do every time when I get kind of, you know, like a uh, sidetrack. All right, Tina, talk to them or something, man. What's up, guys? <laughs> Put the camera to you, like do it like vlog status. Oh, no way. Yeah. All right, so let's play this out real quick. Um, then we'll get to snakes, guys. Big shout out to Big Guns, you know. I almost got a, I almost got on a, on a phone call with him, but I was a little busy, I was in dinner, but hopefully, you know, I could get it, you know, in contact with that dude. What are you just yeah. gonna talk about? I would just let him know how, like, you know, like the big dogs, like the new big thing in the day. Maybe he could give me some tips, like how he was like big guns back in the day, and just kind of like bounce ideas off of him. Seems like a cool dude. I mean, he's definitely been, you know, like coming in and out talking crap, and I love that stuff, you know, but in a good way. Like, you know, I love that kind of stuff, you know, so he's not shy. Definitely not gonna be able to, you know, like. Oh, yeah, that's not a flashlight right there. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell's wrong with me? Jeez. Okay, looking good. 
Good. Good. Ooh, we got nervous there. Nah, these are good, man. So I'm gonna get all my snakes on mice. <laughs> Everyone for the last one. Could you imagine? Everything freaking even millions of them. All right, let me just get this down real quick, guys. Let's go to an awesome clutch. I want to show you guys. Come on. All right, we're gonna get all the information on this thing real, real quick. Um, then um, we're definitely not gonna put it in here. We're gonna throw it on the other incubator. You gotta see how filled up they completely are. We've already cut clutch 34, and that's filled up, and then the other one's filled up. It's pretty crazy. So give us one second. Yeah, we got the tortugation. <laughs> Finally on the vlog, kind of trick there. But yeah, so this is the other um, our other incubator. As you can see, this one's completely filled up as well. Um, we have one more um, slot right there. Then we have the three in the bottom that we might put there really don't want to go that route but um yeah you guys know that we have all of our holdbacks here holdback rack right here some other babies i mean dude it's freaking awesome over here and then we got the the, the, the turtle what do you call the retics the retics the retics we have the the eastern indigo remember these little guys too with tuna feeds these things guys go at it clean all right let's go back over there and talk about the babies all right guys i want to show you this awesome clutch freaking love it so the parent to this was a pastel leopard female to a blackhead leopard ultra male so all these are completely going to be 100 percent head ultra male and um we had some crazy crazy stuff so let's start off with the most like the more basic ones i guess these things are so big some of the biggest hatchlings i have ever hatched even their eggs were huge. yeah so right here i believe we just have a normal which would be 100 percent head ultra male this is my first time really hatching some uh sorry this is the leopard sorry leopard I told you today's not the day this right here is a normal head ultra male this is the leopard head ultra male these are you know more like basic ones and then we have a pastel black head head ultra male and then we have this pretty pastel leopard so i'm gonna take this pastel um black head out and leave this one here because i'm gonna show you the version of this with black head which is freaking amazing dude i'll stay right there stay right there stay right there look at that that thing is freaking beautiful man look at that so we have a blackhead uh we have a blackhead leopard sorry <laughs> turtle you're messing me up i'm not saying anything <gasps> okay so we have a pastel leopard then we have a blackhead pastel leopard and look at the difference this thing is freaking beautiful man all right sorry guys i'm tired super super tired and these you're sore, right you're sore dude i really really am these things right here are freaking beautiful these two right here are blackhead leopard 100 percent hat ultra mills look how beautiful they are the funny thing is man one of these has like some crazy freaking uh uh pied markers but like so this one's normal right and then look at this one it's so crazy if we, I mean, if I thought, I mean, if, if I would have known that any of these things had like head pied or pos head pied, I would be like positive. These things are freaking, you know, 100% head pied, but they're not because the parent was a blackhead leopard ultra male to a pastel leopard. Yeah. But yeah, cool, cool clutch. I wanted to show you guys, you know, it's one of my, my second parents that I've done that have um, blackhead in it. And um, a lot of them are, well, all of them are head ultra male, which I'm really excited about, you know, the ultra male stuff. But um, as always, guys, man, appreciate all the support. Till next time. Peace.